video, I'm going to show you how to generate a word frequency list using the words tool in Langsbox. So as you can see, I've already uploaded my corpus and I'm going to go up to the top and click on the words uh, button. This is a fairly easy search to do. All I have to do is click the button and it's going to generate for me a list of all of the words in the corpus and it's going to organize them from most frequent to least frequent. Looking at this list, I can start to kind of analyze this list for a couple of different things. So just to start looking at it at first before I try to learn anything from this, I notice that the top few words are function words. So they're words that are related to grammar and don't carry a lot of meaning. But as I continue down the list, I see that there are quite a few words here that may stand out or are unique and they carry content. So these are content words. So I can see, for example, priming, language, syntactic, prime, sentence, structural, and so on. When I think about it, this makes sense. So this corpus is specifically on the topic of syntactic priming, which is an area of language research that looks at sentences and lexical primes, and it's done through experiments. So these top or most frequent words make sense considering the topic of the corpus. There's a couple of things that I could learn from this. First of all, if I'm new to this research area and I find these articles are somewhat confusing or overwhelming to read, a list like this could give me a good guide as to the types of words that I need to make sure are in my vocabulary and that I've studied. So it would, if, this, if the word prime occurs 919 times in this corpus, if I don't know what the word prime means within this context, I'm probably gonna have a difficult time understanding these research articles. As I progress in my development as a researcher, if I then decide that I want to write about this topic, these sorts of words are really helpful for me in the process of writing my own research. I would know from, as I'm writing that these most frequent words should probably occur frequently in my writing also. So this is a good tool for me as I'm thinking about repeating key words throughout my article. These are some of the terms I want, might wanna make sure to include. In addition, if I was looking to publish and I needed to select some keywords to list for my journal article, this would probably be a good starting point as I'm thinking about the types of keywords that I might include. 